welcome to all in this lecture we are going to discuss about optical data storage techniques here any information that is uh, the information either in audio form or video form is recorded and read out in the form of light energy or optical energy so this is optical data storage technique here compared to semiconductor memories uh, data storage capacity is increased okay so how we are uh, recording the data and read out the data here actually the we know that information any information either uh, audio information or video information is initially in the form of analog so that analog electrical signal is converted into digital electrical signal that is uh, ones and zeros okay so by using analog to digital converter that analog electrical signal is converted into digital electrical signal so this uh, digital electrical signal is given as input for a laser device so this laser device produce output in the form of light energy so that produced output contains the information to be recorded so that information is recorded on substrate and uh, read out from the substrate so this is the basic thing happen in optical data storage techniques so the first one uh, optical tape here uh, photosensitive film rolls are used so information is recorded over the photosensitive film roll and it is re read out from the film in the case of optical disc that is uh, cd compact disc no so the principle of optical disc is that uh, data either audio or video to be stored is first converted into in all the cases we are doing the same okay first we are converting the electrical signal into analog electrical signal into binary electrical signal zeros and ones this uh, signal is fit to laser device laser device produce light output that light output is stored in the form of reflecting and non reflecting micro points on the disk okay during read out process variation in the reflected intensity of laser is converted back to data so there is a, a two surface uh, is there no on the disk reflecting and non reflecting surface is there no so during uh, again uh, we are sending light energy over the disk so uh, disk having two surface reflecting and non reflecting surface so when the light fall on reflecting surface surface it will reflect when the light fall on non reflecting surface it will not reflect so now uh, the reflected light is captured so and it its intensity also measured based on the intensity data is recovered so the that is principle used in disk optical disk so there are uh, various uh, optical disk one is uh, read and read only disk another one is read and write or record and write record and reading okay so there are two types so the optical disk is classified into read only and rewritable so read only is again classified into read only cd read only dvd rewritable again classified into two types write once optical type rewritable optical disk so this rewritable disk is again classified into magnet optical disk and phase sync phase sync optical disk okay next one uh, cd audio here the audio signal is converted into audio analog audio electrical signal okay so that is converted into digital that digital again fit to 
laser device now, now the laser device produce output okay so here the sub substrate of the disc is either plastic or photopolymer in cd cd audio here also the laser output is stored in the form of reflecting and non reflecting micro points on the uh, substrate okay next one uh, here the digital data is processed on the on the substrate by injection molding uh, so that uh, cd is available at low cost so cd again uh, there is uh, two type of cd we know cd rom that is read only memory and rewritable cd okay so the what is uh, cd rom here uh, similar to in previous case audio signal is converted into uh, digital audio signal is converted into digital signal that is feed to laser device and uh, that laser output is recorded and read out here uh, the video uh, here the video signal is instead of uh, audio signal here the video signal is converted into same binary form again which is fit to laser device and the laser output is recorded and read out so the only difference is here the video signal is recorded write once read mini write once read mini that is cd rom in this case active layer is chemically coated that is uh, substrate is chem substrate is coated with chemical here the laser output fall on the cd writer so which burns the chemical coating so thereby it creates reflecting and non reflecting surfaces okay here the substrate is coated with chemical now the laser output is uh, uh, laser output containing the information to be recorded which is fall on the substrate okay so which burns the chemical coating as a result it creates reflecting and non reflecting surface now the information is recorded we can write the data once and read any number of times but the data written cannot be either copied or erased and rewritten hence the name is read only memory write once and read many that is vom okay cd read and write here we can write the data and read the data and erase the data and we can rewrite the data so all the uh, steps all the phenomenon or all the steps can be done using read and write cd so here two different materials are used one is phase change material second one is magneto optical material so by using these two different material information is recorded and read out here all the uh, read write rewrite erase all the steps can be easily done so here uh, they are using two different materials so dvd so compared to cd here the capacity is very high so that is the difference the phenomenon is same uh, writing and reading phenomenon is same here the major difference is only the capacity capacity is more so the main advantage of this optical disc is so in semiconductor compared to semiconductor memory here we can store large amount large data okay so this is the main advantage of optical data storage so in the figure they are showing how they are recording so this is the cd rom this one is disk okay disk is rotatable disk see this figure here the electrical signal is co converted into light signal so this light signal is focused using lens so again which is uh, fit this light is fit to dim splitter 
so this beam splitter split the light so again by using the lens it is focused and it is the optical information is recorded over the disc this is rotatable disc so the information is recorded over the circles circles of the disc okay thus data is stored in optical disc so here in this lecture we have discussed optical data storage techniques and various devices used for optical data storage techniques